Hello again YouTube. Today is January 12th, 2018. And for those of you who are familiar with radio frequency waves or radiation, uh, you'll know it is not good for you. It just wears the body down. It can make you sick, give you all kinds of health problems, and including cancer. All right, we are bombarded with these waves every day from Wi-Fi, cell phones, smart meters, or whatnot, especially in your house. Well, I wanted to do something about it, and I jumped online and I noticed this guy made a Faraday cage to protect himself, of course, when he slept. But if you're in there for eight hours, you know, you're eight hours free of these frequencies. So I'm looking at this guy's design. I wanted to build one, um, but this one would not be good enough for me. I have cats, and this is just window screen, the metal kind, not the fabric kind. And I needed something a little more durable. I also have three dogs, so uh, you never know what can happen, right? So I needed something solid, really solid. And I jumped on Craigslist, and I found a guy selling perforated steel. So I thought, hey, you know what? I'm doing this for sure. And I, I figured, you know what? As long as I'm going to do this, let's make it multi-layered um, for better protection, of course. And I'll show you the build right here all right you can see where i started now this took me probably about a month to complete well there's one of my cats but you can't get the screen now because there's no way to get it this is also one of those sleep number beds and i built it up high off the ground um so i could get my german shepherds underneath there and they do fit and um my big one he even goes in there and he'll just lay down and chill out in there. There's a shot of the multi-layers. They are independent of each other. There's not, none of this perforated steel is touching the screen. And I also have them grounded independently. It was quite the project. I was up to the challenge and making the door that was the biggest trick of all and i'll show you that a little bit later all right there's a there's a box where i got there's two grounds i know they're supposed to be black but they're red that's all i had and they go outside each one to a pole that is four foot pound in the ground and you'll notice okay this lock we'll go over that in a little bit either there's so many different designs you could make um, you'll notice there's a TV up in here and I know what people say about TVs and everything but I tested this thing with my uh, I have a smog meter that picks up radiation but okay you see this here's the antenna the antenna goes out of the cage and it's sticking to the window and now what I'll do is I'll show you a little demonstration um, actually before I set that up let me show you my smog meter just sitting here you'll see the peaks on this thing there's three different selections on this you really don't need to go through them all um, it's got an easy chart on the side here anything in the red is bad yellow is getting bad and for some reason the light keeps going off on this thing but even walking through the house let me turn this on again you'll see how you're just constantly getting hit with these frequencies no matter where you go all right some spikes are worse than others and this will happen also outside with the smart meter let me set this up a demo and all right we're inside the cage here and you should be able to see put a light on it the spikes the doors open so of course you're going to get uh, radiation frequencies in here and you can use a cell phone in here with the door open you don't really want to do that because it gives even larger spikes than normal um, with the door closed it won't even work and i'm going to show you that too so we'll take my cell phone here all right right now it's got it's got two bars i'm partly in the cage but we just throw that in there take a look at this door here you can see where I got the screen on one section here 
and the perforated steel on an outer. And the same thing on the seam. Now with this lock, this metal is actually tapered. It's a simple design. Or when you close it, it's basically a wedge. And it pinches, it pinches the door shut. Pretty easy design, easy to use. Let's take a look at the meter now. Okay, there's no more, there's no more bars showing on here, no more spikes. Okay, so we're pretty much good here. And I have my cell phone in here. Watch what happens when I turn this thing on. Okay, we'll do a search. Come on. Okay, we'll do a search for something. Radiation. Look at a spike on that meter. One big spike that goes up into the red. So I'm basically sitting here frying myself to show you this. All right, we'll do some other tests now. Let me open this door. You'll see what the meter does. Okay, door's open. And now the spikes start coming. So this does provide a lot of protection. But how much protection does it provide? Well, any is better than none, of course. But the true way to test something like this would be to use two-way radios. Let's turn these on. We'll see what these do. All right, let's get my meter. All right, I'm gonna set this up here. Well, it looks like we're probably gonna need light on it. flashlight so you can see this all right here you should be able to see that now I will grab the other walkie-talkie there you go as you see the spike go up it's pretty hard to stop two-way radio frequencies even in a cage simply because they can go long range and short range so radiation just basically goes through everything so what we're gonna try and do is see how much let me set this up here see how much this cage will stop so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave the camera in here focused on this I'm gonna close the door And we'll see how, how much radiation this stops. I'm going to have to give it a few minutes so the bars settle down to nothing when I close the cage. And we'll hit the walkie-talkie. Right, I don't know if you can hear me, but the meter should be showing no spikes right about now. It should be flat-lined. Let's see what happens. All right, let's see what happened. No spikes, really. Not until I open the cage. So, some is getting through, but it doesn't seem to be like it's harmful to you. So, anything is better than nothing. You don't have to build a cage this elaborate or expensive even the screen one is fine depending on what you need